So I don't know about you guys, but Friday the 13th, the game, one of my favorite fucking games ever made. I, I can easily say it is probably the best multiplayer experience I've ever had, at least so far. Back when that game came out in 2017, I mean, it, it, the way it blew up and everybody was fucking playing that game, I just have so many fond memories of the game being obviously broken and doing funny shit. I mean, you can't forget that, but I I don't know. It just the game holds a special place in my heart. So when I saw finally the inevitable shutdown stuff, I it, it hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm quite the bit upset. So I went on my journey. I went on my search to find something that might fill the void and I'm not going to lie to you. I think I might have found it. But yeah, we're going to check this out, and I hope I can maybe sway some of y'all that are feeling the exact same way I am about this Friday the 13th shutdown. Uh, maybe it'll sway some of you to come over here. Uh, I'm also going to link the developer Discord down below in the comments. I'm hoping that maybe, you know, we can get it back up a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, let's check it out. All right, guys. The game before you, Horror Legends, I'm cutting off the Legends with my face cam like a fucking idiot, but Horror Legends is the game we're talking about. Uh, love the goofy atmosphere of it. It reminds me so much of Friday the 13th, just how it's really fucking weird. Thought I'd show off the menu, uh, show off some of the characters because this game has hella fucking killers in it for it only being a 99 cent game on Steam currently right now too. It's really like, early horror movie-esque they each character has like their own you know movie tie-in like punky's revenge and all that which is really cool i enjoy that little nice touch uh you got you... you got that um you just got a bunch of different characters that are really cool you got a werewolf all have different unique powers. You got this cool vampire guy. Looks like he just got out of Hot Topic. What's a Blade 2 showing? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they all have their different powers, different amount of health and all that, which is really, really cool. You also got your cast, which are basically your survivors. Uh, they all start with different weapons, different... Some of them have special powers. Like, I'm pretty sure this girl's got, like, witch powers, which is kind of weird. It's not we won't question here. it. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd just show you off some of the... Some of the killers here before we go into it i'm just gonna put some commentary over top of it but we'll we'll see how it goes so all right all right loaded right in here uh i'm actually commentating over this this is i i lost the footage for the actual voice i was doing while i was playing the game so that kind of sucks but you know this is this is just gonna how it's how it's gonna be it's a little weird but uh we're gonna make it work uh so just hopped in into the middle of a match right here <laughs> Um, I didn't get the first part of it. There's the killer already fucking me up. That's the vampire guy with the sword. Uh, I'm playing the sheriff. I don't remember his name, but uh, he starts with the magnum. So I know the bastard's around here somewhere still. I can hear him teleporting. Uh, all of the killers have a fast travel kind of thing that makes them go really fast along the map. Uh, the maps are huge, which in my personal opinion is one of the... It's kind of a flaw of the game. Uh, I feel like the map size just could be condensed down or even just another game mode with the maps being condensed slightly. Uh, here he comes. Gonna, gonna fuck my guy up. <laughs> Got a few shots off of him. I'm gonna pick up the stun gun. Stun gun is actually pretty good. It really slows them down. Uh, it doesn't really do any damage, but... So my friend just fucked him up right there. Good old grandpa with the shotgun. So you can actually kill the killer, too. Uh, depending on what killer it is, you either have to do different stuff some of them are not killable uh just so it, it really gives it a lot of good variety in the game as well in my opinion so we actually got him down so if we actually had the uh holy spear we could have killed him right there but i don't think neither one of us had it at that point there he is teleporting are you trying to stun him so grandpa can get the shot off I still somehow misses get him down again uh, I didn't realize that... So here's me trying to kill him. I didn't realize that you had to have a certain... A certain weapon to kill him. Which, I mean, makes sense, but... I'm just, he's getting back up, fucking me up, because I had no idea. Now I'm out of stamina, so I'm kind of fucked. No stun gun left. One shot left in the magnum, now gone. So I'm, I'm pretty much dead right there. This is trying to get away. 
gets me down. So I'm now in the down state. In the down state, you can crawl and all that kind of like Dead by Daylight. So at the top of the screen cool. with the two, it's kind of like the generators. There's these statues around that you have to sacrifice. There's five total. We're now down to one. So that's pretty good. The effigies, that's what they're called. Teammate coming over here, help me out. Good old grandpa. Uh, all of the casts have like voice lines and everything. Some of them are funny as hell because they sound like they were recorded through a tin can, but I really think that just adds to the charm and makes it seem more like Friday the 13th the game. Right, back on our feet. Only 30 health, which kind of sucks. I have a little exclamation point above my character's uh, head is also let me know that I'm exposed, which is probably not good. Just following Grandpa around right now. <laughs> This was my third game, and we have a full lobby, in, almost a full lobby in here during this game, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Tyler is the only one that is a bot. You can play with bots, which obviously helps a lot. All the little whispers mean he's fast traveling again, so we're both kind of on high alert. That one sounded really close, so. <laughs> right, so we found a house. Uh, looting system feels very similar to Friday the 13th. Kind of just going to a landmark, finding some stuff, health kits, weapons, all that good stuff. Uh, this game can also be played in third person as well. Uh, I don't think I ever do that as much, but, you know, literally just capitalizing on that. He just found the police officer in the house, the dead police officer, which you can use to call the cops. The way that the cops work on this, they're not used as an escape form like Friday the 13th on this, but they, are, they actually after a little bit spawn into the map and they will actually attack the killer which is kind of cool and if they shoot them and if the cop actually hits them with a bullet it exposes the killer for everybody as well so that's pretty hype pretty useful so we got a teammate down all the way down there um i think i'm i'm trying to make the rescue here i can't exactly remember what my plan is here so we got another teammate now which is not very good. I see the killer down there. I'm trying to play it a little bit safe. There's one of the eulogies right there in the middle. Uh, the little icons around the eulogy, uh, as I'm getting closer to it, the same icons are also in front of it. And you, instead of just sitting on a gen doing skill checks, the way that this works is that some of the eulogies, you want to do that pattern that's right there. So it's eyeball first, and then the moon, and then the other one. So I'm doing them in order. Can we talk about this? <laughs> God, I love the voice slide so much. All right, so I got two. I'm trying to find the third one, which is right there. So now that all of those are activated, the eulogy will start wincing in pain. And if you can get over to it super quick, you can destroy it. So I just destroyed the last one. So now we are at the in-game portion. Once that bar fills up, that means we can escape. So now at this point, since I got that activated, just trying to get some of my teammate teammates back up before he spots me. And I don't think that goes very well for me. So that said, getting ready to fast travel, so now he's just appearing all around us. I see him do that, so I figure he's going after the other guy, but turns out he was just fucking around. So I jumped down, try to get away, because I tried to lead him away from the others. It doesn't work really well. I found some more health, which is fantastic. I don't really have any good weapons to get him down. I can only stun him or slow him down with the potion. So now I have three people now. I hear him killing one of them. I try to hurry up and get over to him. Because you can actually interrupt the killer before he kills the person. I was not quick enough. Just kind of backing up with the stun gun. Put some space. He, start, he started finishing him, and then... Alright, so we get him down again. You can't destroy me. Nothing. 
uses his ult kind of thing right there to get instantly right back up. Look at that. <laughs> really goofy around, I'm not gonna lie. And Grandpa trying to get out of there. <laughs> and I finally go down. You gonna make an exceptional play. And that's when you get finished, so that is GG from me. Kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, some of the killers, once you die, you get to come back as little aids for them. So this guy has these little uh, imps that you play as once you die. So now I'm kind of working for the killer. Only some of them have that, not all of them have that. But once that bar fills up on the top, you can, uh, there's like a good witch, and you go to the good witch and you escape. Uh, obviously, we are not going to do that this round. <laughs> yeah. Looks like one of them got out. Oh, two of them got out. Wow. I take it back. All right, good shit. So that was pretty much the the majority of a match right there. Um, but yeah, I think the game is incredibly fun. Um, I would love to see more people pour into this, especially when Friday the 13th does inevitably shut down because I think the similarities are really there. And I also just really think that the community for Friday the 13th that is still there would really enjoy this game. It's pretty much the closest thing you're going to get to it right now, just the goofiness and the wackiness of it. So uh, I appreciate you guys coming in, tuning into the video, and I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Please join the Discord of this game. Uh, we play quite a bit now, so. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you got... You... Got that.